New to Mari is the way it handles shader recompilation. Previously in Mari, changing settings, adding procedurals, and other common tasks would force Mari to stop and process. This would interrupt the workflow and slow down the artist. On large projects with heavy scenes, this wait can add up to quite a long time. Now in order to increase productivity, Mari now significantly reduces the amount of time the artist needs to wait in between operations. With updates to the latest graphic card drivers adding new features, Mari can take advantage of this to reduce the amount of time it takes to update the Mari shader. There are four modes for the shader recompilation, the first being dynamic. Now this requires fewer shader recompilations. If you are focused on a higher frame rate, you can use optimized. This has a higher frame rate, which will require more shader recompilations. You can also choose automatic. This uses the dynamic shader until the optimized shader is finished recompiling in the background and then it automatically switches. Finally, there's legacy and this matches the shader compilation techniques of Mari 3.2 and before. So whether you're hiding and exposing layers, adding multiple procedures or performing other common tasks, Mari's new shader recompilation will speed up your workflow. Introduced in Mari 3.0 was the addition of color space management. This required all paint baking color transformations to be calculated on the CPU. Now in Mari we can perform color space transformations on the GPU which reduces bake wait times which in turn is going to increase the artist's productivity. There are three modes to work with with the color space bake optimizations. The first one is accurate. When set to accurate the color space transformations are performed on the CPU resulting in accurate color values. If speed is a concern, then you can use fast. In this case, color space transformations are performed on the GPU with the trade-off of minor floating point accuracy in the final color values. Finally, there is automatic. Now, based on the color space configuration, Mari will choose which method to use. Mari now introduces optimized texture management. On some operating system and hardware combinations, too many layers would max out the graphics card and the hardware would hit a limitation as it needs more texture draw calls. In Mari 3.3, artists can now work on projects with a higher level of complexity without having to worry about hitting graphics capacity limits as a new implementation has been introduced into Mari. You can now have more layer operations in your channels before needing to flatten them into a paintable layer or adding a bake point node. 